hello guys welcome to the market channel in this video i will walking you through on how to place futures trade how to get started with futures trade and how to place trade and uh, the advantages and disadvantages of trading futures everything we covered in this video and before i continue if you have not subscribed to my channel i am watching this video right now please and please can you subscribe now and don't forget to smash the like button and for those that don't know how to do that all you need to do is just under the under the video you are going to see a subscribe button just click on the subscribe and don't forget to also put on the notification button so which is very important so that you get notified of all our content so let's get started so these are uh, on uh, MEXC exchange so futures trade first of all futures is very very profitable trading you know, we have to do two different type of trading we have the spot trading we have our futures trading you know spot trading is basically buying and hold for some period of time to gain profit but if you are good in technical analysis you can trade futures within a short period of time maybe one hour three hours or within one day you're going to make or within some hours you're going to make huge profit depending on how perfect your analysis is so uh future they are the leverage the use the higher your profit and the higher the risk of liquidating do you understand me so uh like someone that is uh uh that is using 200x leverage we have a higher chance of getting higher profit if the movement should go in his or away and has a higher chance of getting liquidated easily if the price go against the person so that's that and um, under features we have the usdt uh, and the coin feature the usdt means that uh, you can use usdt to place a trade another the coin you can use coin maybe btc ethereum you know any kind of coin depending on what the uh, broker has to place trade so either one you have either you have the usd or you have a coin so here we'll be covering the usd part so and uh, also first of all you need to know which coin you want to go for do you understand so before uh once you have a coin maybe I'm, I'm going for let me just choose a coin let me choose um let me just choose a coin out of vm let me choose maybe lead coin let me choose lead coin and at least coin after choosing the coin you want to go for click on it if it's not here you can just search the name of the coin maybe lead coin so search it is going to bring it out and click then the next thing is to what add leverage for your leverage you have isolated and you have cross isolated means that let's assume you use ten dollar to place a trade it means that if that particular ten dollar liquidated that its price goes against you then you will be only uh, you'll be losing only dial ten dollar but let's assume that uh, uh, you have one thousand dollars in your balance and you use cross and you use like ten dollar to place a trade so if the trade should go against you uh once your ten dollar uh actually exceeded maybe the price exceeded the amount in which your ten dollar can actually run for that particular trade the trade will start picking from a balance of center of one thousand dollars and start using it to keep the position open so as not to what to liquidate so and if the price keep going against you keep going against you to the end to the uh to the point where the whole one thousand dollars you have in your account finishes or everything just went so that means your whole balance will be going so that's cross it depends but irrespective either you're using cross or isolated make sure to always set stop loss once you set a stop loss you're covered of any form of risk that may happen of getting your account or your balances liquidated so uh if you are using a 10x leverage if you are using a 10 less leverage 10x means that with uh a 10 a 10 percent increase in normal price of that particular coin means that you'll be having 100 percent profit and a 10 percent drop in normal price of that particular coin means that you'll be having a 100 percent loss 
so that's for 10x we are using a 20x it means that uh, that particular coin uh, the five percent increase in normal price it brings about hundred uh, percent and the five percent drop we make about a liquidation so the higher the leverage the higher the risk and the higher the profit so that does how it is so if you are just starting i would say i would recommend you should use five ten x below if you don't know much about the analysis so oh, sorry if you're just starting with trading that is 10x below is average or then over time if you know how to manage uh, leverage then you can start towards increase your leverages so and then also uh, i've already transferred 14 dollar from my spot balance to my futures account so that i can use it to explain for this video so then the next thing after adding your leverage i've input the 10x leverage if you want to short that's if i'm if i'm too long and if you want to short you have to what change the leverage on your short position on the other side here and input it so 10x do you understand so if it's for long you change it from here if it's for short you change it from the other side you can see it here buy short red button so then after that you need to come to open or close so since we want to open the position so we'll be going for open so then the next thing we see a limit you can see the limits here so under limits we have limit, we have market we have a uh, trigger limit we have a uh, uh, trigger market we have post only and likes and trading stops so but in this video to make uh, this video to be short so i'll be explaining limits and market so the rest if you want me to cover the rest then you can give a like or give a comment below this video then i'll make a video on the rest so for the limit because those two are very very important compared to others for the limit let's assume the current price of litcoin is 88.4 88.84 let's assume i want to please i want to long this coin and i want maybe once price gets to 80 that's when i want to place a long trade for this coin all i need to do is to make make sure it's on that limit then i will now put okay when the price gets to 80 that is when you should place this coin if i want to use the whole balance i have here i'll just drag this 100 percent so if i want to use a little bit i can always change the 50 percent i'd like so i want to use the whole of everything 100 percent then you can easily set your uh stop loss you can see you can see this here tp slash sl if you check it you're going to have take profit stop loss do you understand so let's assume i want okay if price gets to 90 take profit but if price go below maybe at 75 stop me out i don't want to be in this trade again so i've already reduced my risk with my stop loss so then the next thing i'll be doing is to click on open so once i open can you see that price is pending currently you can see there at the open at the open order you will see price that is pending currently so whenever price gets to 80 it's going to activate even if i'm not in market so let me close that now and once price activates and price reaches 90 for a for lead coin it's going to take profit for me and if you go down to 75 is going to stop my out so that's me that's it just to reduce my loss so let me cancel this so that's for how to use limits and for how to use a market market means that uh, instant execution let's assume that price as we can see that price is currently 88.8 .8. and i want to enter the market currently as the way the price is all i need to do is was just uh change the uh, change it from limit to market then the amount i want to use to place my trade then i'm still using 100 percent here then if i want to set my take profit i can set it i can set my take profit now or i can set it later it's not necessarily i have to set it now you can always set it later even while the trade is running or once it's activated so let's have my business setting stop loss 75 so all i need to do is just what press long since it's already on market so what do you see just you see able to see that, that the position can you see now is now running is now opened so this is it currently so uh if the trade should go my people and price should eat 
90, if you look at the open position, open orders, check limit. You're going to see the condition there. My TP price, can you see 90? So if price will reach 90, it's going to take profit for me. And my uh, my SL price, you can see it's 75. So if price should uh, reach 75, it's going to what? Stop out. If you reach 90, it's going to what? Take profit. So that's it. So that's it. So I can now decide what to close it. Since it does this particular, let me just assumption. So that's just basically how to uh, uh, how to take uh, place trade. And also, you want to set. Let's assume you did not put a take profit or a stop loss at the beginning of the trade. You can just uh, you can just once the trade is running, you can just click on TP slash SL. Also click on it. So you are going to see this is the one I set initially. So if I want to add a new one, just click on add and put the price, take profit, 90, stop loss, 75. So then, boom, so can you see it's not added. So that is a simple way to play straight. So first of all, like I said, if you don't know how to, how to uh, analyze market very well, you're not good in tech analysis, don't try features. But you are very good in tech analysis, assure yourself, then you can go ahead and do futures. But if you are not sure of yourself, don't go ahead and blow your money. So that's for that. And also, uh, you can also join our Telegram group. You see the link in the description of this video. Don't forget once again to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share with your friend. Thank you very much. Meet you in the next